everybody! Welcome to Gear Locked Reloaded. This is a self-imposed challenge where I will be progressing through increasingly powerful tiers of weapon and armor pieces. I've crafted three tiers for every region I will be selecting. Pieces within a tier can be collected in any order, but to advance to the next tier, I must collect every item from every region. The goal? Complete all the tiers doing content I've never done before. Now let's get started. I have a conundrum, folks. I know I said I was going to be doing quests, and we will get to the quests, don't you worry. But in the meantime, I've been skilling. Here's the current skills as of day two and some change. But while I was doing this, I realized, okay, I need to get some tasks done. I would like the next relic, which is in 1680 points. That way I can get a 12 times multiplier. I've already determined what I'm picking for my relic. I'm gonna go Infernal Gathering. Treasure Seeker, eh, I'm not a big fan of doing clues. Bloodthirsty, getting a Slayer task and canceling it just via the Slayer Gem. If it was picking my Slayer task, I would've gone for this. Infernal Gathering is gonna make my life easier. Get this relic, get a pickaxe, an axe, and an infernal harpoon type thingy. But that's what I'm going. So I'm just, you know, going through my task list. Just scrolling through here, trying to find stuff to do. And so right now, what we are doing is we are going to complete Daddy's Home because I have 14 clue boxes I would like to get done. Those are tasks, you get uniques, you get stuff and things. It's glorious. But I keep running into these easy stash units to put in these easy clue items. So let's just make it so that we can actually create the easy stash units and we'll be golden. I just did Daddy's Home. I did all this work so I could build an easy stash unit and I can't because I need 27 construction. So I guess we're going to the house. Let's go! Woo! Construction, yay! Oh, hey, enter your player own house. What do you know? Huzzah, we can start crafting easy stash units to take care of these 14 clues. Beautiful, first stash unit achieved. I got a couple caskets, gave up while doing a few of them just because they require stuff that's a little bit difficult to get. So let's open it up and see what we... Shoulder parrot frog slippers and cabbages. The cabbages would have been an ultra roll, but you know what? Look at this. Look at that, we got a little, we got a little shoulder parrot. He's ours now. Many tasks later. Dun, 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 dun. I have been booking it on doing some tasks. We just traveled to Fossil Island. That was enough to give us a new area. And what area are we unlocking next? I was gonna pick Asgardia, but now I'm gonna do desert because I saw someone with infernal tools, which is the next relic we're getting, doing Temporos. Oh, baby, give me, gimme. So let's just pop this puppy open. We have unlocked the desert, which gave us Gertrude's cat, Romeo and Juliet, the Lost Tribe, and Below Ice Mountain. That was 90 points. Hey oh Yeah, so I was an idiot and I unlocked Desert Second instead of Asgarnia Second. What did that wind up doing, you might ask? Well, that unlocked Desert Treasure 2, which unlocks Waterfall Quest and Fight Arena. The two quests I did not do because I wanted 12 XP multiplier for a massive boost of experience. 850 relic points later. We are officially at a bank, and you know what? I want Infernal Gathering. One tick quicker on the pickaxe and axe, two ticks quicker on the harpoon fishing, automatic smelting of bars, automatic fish being cooked, regardless of if it uses the harpoon or not. Fantastic. But most importantly, we get 12 XP multiplier. And we took this XP multiplier to actually do some quests. You met your maker. Me, I am the maker. We got garlic. We've got salmon. There's a vampire that's popped out. Two tick attack. Oh, this is easy. Oh, Count Draenor is gonna get absolutely decimated. That was 58,000 experience and a task to complete Vampire Slayer. That took us from 21 to 45 attack. And we got four combat levels. It was at this point, I was getting real tired of my herb lore being 15. So I did the Karamja Easy Diaries. Let's rub this lamp. Let's put it in herb lore. Let's get 12,000 experience to take us to 30 herb lore. Excellent. Absolutely fantastic. Then we use the antique lamp that we've been saving. That's 30,000 experience. That takes us to 41. 15 to 41 herb lore, just like that. That's that league's magic for you.
and now we're back on that point getting grind. Speaking of, look at this one. We just got 1000 total level. Woo! Also, I decided to do some wood cutting. I know, right? Shocking. However, while doing wood cutting, I have the Forester's backpack on and we're doing the sapling event. The sapling event is a surprisingly decent amount of farming experience if you've at least gotten a couple levels. You just run back and forth depositing these leftover things on the ground into the sapling, giving it some mulch. And each deposit for me was like a hundred experience. That's some easy initial levels if you didn't take Zaya to do the, the Death Garden quest. And now it's time for a task montage. Hey, look at that! We defeated the Lesser Demon in the Wizard's Tower, also defeated the Lesser Demon, and on top of that, that gave us Iron Rank! Woohoo! Let's go! I wanted to cap off this episode by us getting the next relic, but you know what would be nice to do? Let's go ahead, as you can see I'm in the Tazar area, let's talk to this dude right here. Let's sell some Chaos Runes. Get up to 78,000 Tockle. But why are we in Tazar area selling our Chaos Runes for Tockle? Well, well, well. There is an item on the tier list for the Karamja area, known as the Obsidian Cape. This is our best in slot cape right now, folks. Look at it in all of its glory. Get out of here. I know I just bought this from you, but this is, look at this glorious cape. It's ours now. And that is officially one item knocked off the tier list. Next up, we're aiming for the fighter torso. The fighter torso will bring us to the promised land. In the meantime, here are the stats, peep them before they're gone.